Alright, welcome back to another installment of How to Do Everything. And yes, we all are uh, aware of the situation. My desk is extremely cluttered right now. I worked for the last three days to launch a new web store. Should be open within the next week. Now then today we're going to be showing you how to combine two Ethernet Cat5e cables. And uh, these cables can be bought on ByteNight.com. I'll post a link on the video. Actually the new web store I've been designing. This is a piece of scrap cable. So I'm just going to cut it in half here. Use this two different Ethernets. Still works the same. And uh, this would be good if you're if you don't want to buy a coupler for outdoor runs or anything like that. And this is a, a good way to deal with that problem. I've done gone over stripping the wire in several of my videos. Just in case it's your first one, we'll go ahead and do it again. You want to take your scissors, put them into the the tip of your scissors into the tip of the jack into the jacket here. Cut. Get your fingers down in there. And pull this apart just enough to get the scissors back down in here on a different part of the jacket. Be careful not to clip any wires in here. Very bad thing to do. And for doing this, I know some people like to use a uh, pair of wire strippers. I don't. Just uh, too much risk of uh, nicking a wire. Nah, this one's going to give me trouble here too. Alright. I'll just peel it back like a banana here. Cut the jacket. And then we do the same to the other one. The other side's already been halfway done. some of this crap out the way and same with all my other videos simply untwist the wires here and separate them by their color groups here now for those of you who are not uh, too knowledgeable with ethernet cables these uh, cables are actually split into pairs here make four different twisted pairs Blue, striped blue, orange, striped orange, brown, striped orange, green, and striped orange. That's the case for most Ethernet cables. I have run into a few that have been different, but not too many. Should have some that looks a little bit like that. Alright, now that the wires are stripped and separated, and I forgot to tell you what y'all gonna need for this uh, electrical tape. Don't use duct tape, especially for an outdoor run. It's just not a uh, very good idea, in my opinion. And here's the hard part stripping these little wires. 
apply just a little bit of pressure to the wire just enough to get that little bit of jacket cut get your fingernail down in there and pull the wire or the jacket off of it and I'm not sure what gauge copper is actually in ethernet wire but it seems that uh, if you actually were to get the right gauge you would build your own ethernet wires of some electrical tape head crimpers and some copper So we'll be very careful not to cut all the way through the wire. Then uh, chances are you have to cut all the other strips and start all over again. So you want these wires to be all just about the same length. Makes it a lot easier for connecting. Huh, been using this scrap of wire too long. Coming out of the jacket. That's one thing you don't want to do, but uh, I'm just going to connect one wire here, show y'all how to do that. So just cut two right off of here. Yes, I know these ain't uh, actual two different ethernet cables, I just ain't got the time to do all that. Uh, try to get a little zoom in here. Alright, hopefully y'all can see that copper there. You want to cross it just like that. More like this with your thumb. Bend one side over and just kind of loop. Keep on uh, bending it over that one strand. Like you're rolling tape over the wire till you reach the end. Now don't go too far as to cover the installation now then. Is yes, that don't do no good. So if you start to get real close to the installation just uh, pull it on back there. And it don't really matter if it's uh, not going the same way as the other wires. It's copper. It will uh, 
take the current just the same right, kind of sm smash them down for a tighter uh, bond there now then hopefully y'all can get a good look at that there but we can't have that sitting in there with all other uh, strip wires like that end up uh, messing up your tire network I've seen cases where they've done that and it's actually crashed the whole network Taping's pretty self-explanatory. But just take a tip, the tip of the tape, put your uh, copper not too far from there, but not right on the end. Ellie. Bend that little piece of tape that's that you put the copper right next to over it. You kind of hold it, then bend the rest on it. You should get something like this, then kind of twist your tape around. form a little bit of a tighter connection there do that for all your other cables and make sure to match your cables green to green stripe green to stripe green orange to orange and so on and so on alright let's move some of this crap out of my way now then bitenight.com is where you can buy just about everything I use on the series you can uh, watch newer videos, keep up to date. That's also going to be our headquarters for this entire series. It's bitenight.com. Is that my own personal web store? I'll just put the link in the video or in the description. Should be opening this week, and y'all come and see it. Now then, uh, make sure to comment with new ideals. <laughs> 